Hi, in this video we'll see how to work with the borders that is a part of a formatting. So if I want to apply a borders to my grand total, to my cells, panes, uh, headers, the row headers or the column headers, anything I can apply it. So for that what I've done is I've created a worksheet formatting, the connected data source is global superstore, the sheet name is nothing but borders. Now I'll try to bring this data in this place and then I'll apply the border. So first of all I'll bring the market in the columns order priority into the rows and third one I'll bring the sales in this middle part itself in the pane itself and after getting the data I want to add the grand totals go to analysis menu bar totals row grand total analysis menu bar totals column grand total so I'll get the grand total for both of them now I want to remove this cards which are given us because I'll not be using any card at this place so I'll remove this card remove this card now I'll get a maximum space to play with it and you can also see it clearly. Now the next thing is applying borders. Go to format menu bar, click on this borders, you'll get this format borders dialog box. Here you can apply a borders to your sheet, to your rows or to your columns. Now the first one I'll start with the sheet itself. If I want to apply a borders to the sales part, so I'll select this option as default. If I click on this drop down, in this place it, I'll be getting a line style, I'll be, I'll be getting a color itself and the option to select some more colors. If you do not want the colors, you can just click on this none part and the borders will be removed. So first one, I'll select the border style and then select the color part. And if you observe the cells, it says all the cells in my database have been uh, surrounded by the borders, borders itself. Second one, if I see, if I click on the Spain's drop down and if I select the same line and if I click the black button here, black color, color here itself, and if I click outside, this is applied to the entire pane itself. So if you see for the cells and the panes, I've applied the color, right? The next one I have, if I apply for the headers part, the row headers or the column headers, select the line style and select the border itself. So I'll select this color itself. So if you observe the pink color is given only to the row headings and the column headings. So if you want to clear it, simply click on this clear button and the borders will be removed. Now, if you want to apply a border to your total, so select this plane, that is the total option here. Click on this drop down, select this option and click on the black color. So if you see for the grand total, I've got this border itself. And if you want to apply for the headers, that is this one, the grand total header and this grand total header. So click on this drop down, select the color, for example, brown color or yellow color and click on outside. That's it. So you see only yellow colors are applied for this particular place. Now what I'll do is I'll apply the borders for all the places. For the pane also I'll apply and for the headers also I'll apply. So I've applied almost for everything. Now the last one if I want to add the borders to my grand totals. So I'll select this drop down, select the style, select the color and click outside. So this is applied for the grand total if you observe. This is applied for the grand total and same way for the headers again it is already applied. The next part which I have if I want to add a color to my row divider or the column divider, these are the column dividers. This one is the column divider and this one is the column divider. So and the row divider will become this one grand total and this will become the row divider. The first one I'll change the color for the row divider. I'll click on this drop down and I'll select this color here. And if you observe row divider stands the grand total after that, that's a row divider. And before the column after the column heading, that's a row divider. Same way, if I select as column divider, click on this drop down, select the red color from here. Okay. And if you see, that's nothing but a column divider, which is given here. So these are nothing but the column dividers, the red color. And this one is the red color part. So this is how you can keep on changing the borders. If you want to customize specifically for your rows, you can select from rows. If you want to customize for columns, same method you can use whatever you have used in this sheet part. So I hope you're able to understand how do we apply the borders to my database. That's all for this video.